Hi guys, this is Alex from MuseFames.com and today we're going to be looking at the new custom cursor widget. So as we can see at the bottom we have three images here and as we hover over them a custom cursor appears as we hover for all three of them like so. So let's jump into Muse and see how we can set this up in our own canvas. Okay so now that we're on canvas I'm going to head into our library and I'm just going to drag the custom cursor onto the canvas and we can see it's quite a nice easy and simple widget to set up here and we're going to link up this widget using graphic styles so what we're going to need to do is give each of these images a unique graphic style and then link it up to this widget so let's start off with the first image down here so if I select it and head over to our graphic styles panel and I'm going to create a new graphic style and I'm just going to name this image 1 like so. So this image is now assigned to the graphic style image one. So I'm going to close that and then we'll go into our widget and we're going to apply the same graphic style name. So image one, like so. And then we're going to apply our file. And this can just be any small cursor that you wish to have shown when you roll over this image down here. So I'm going to use the little magnifying glass so if we select this and click open then this will put it straight into our widget for use so I'm going to drag this off to the side and let's preview this in browser to see what it looks like okay so now this should work as we roll over our image at the bottom and as you can see as we roll over our icon appears as the new cursor okay so let's have a look at setting both of these up as well so let's head back into Muse and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste or hold alt and drag to duplicate this widget as we're going to need three versions of this for three separate images so now I'm going to go through the same process again and I'm going to give both of these unique graphic styles I name this one image 2 and this one image 3 for simplicity and then same again back into our widgets and let's name these up appropriately and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to apply a separate cursor to each one so let's start off with this second one here the same process again notice that it's still copied the cursor image from the previous widget but we can just remove this and add our own cursor so in this one I'll use cursor 2 which is a small plus style icon so if we open this up it will place it in as cursor 2 and whilst I'm here I'll quickly do the final one and I'll place in cursor 3 which is the finger pointing cursor ok so now all of those three are loaded so let's preview our page in browser and see if these have been applied to our images ok so as we roll over we can see that our new cursor is displayed when we roll over the images for all three. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, if you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to contact us. Until next time, goodbye.